I'd like a burger and fries, please. Sir, this is a library. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like a burger and fries, please. From Monday on, my cares are over. From Monday on, I'll be in clover. We pick on Monday because it's wash day. We'll wash our blues away. From Monday on, the skies will look bright. Don't tell me different. I know I'm right. I'll start shouting, hey, hey. She says, love on the window because I'll be happy from Monday on. Hello and welcome to Still Trying. This is show number 200. 200? Is it hard to believe? Impossible. Proving that anyone can have a show on cable access. Monday on. The skies will look bright Don't tell me different I know I'm right I'll start shouting Hey, hey She says love on the rental beer I'll be happy From Monday on Wait till the sun shines Nelly for our 200th show. Yeah, that... Wow. We lasted a lot longer than a lot of network shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we don't have to worry about money because there is no advertising... So and, the, and we're not getting any money, and that's it. That's true. We're getting what we're paid, what we we're valued at. When people have seen this show, that's the first question they ask. You get paid for doing that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> yes, but we love it. Okay, now I've said this many times. We don't know when this show will be shown on your cable TV. Obviously, we've taped it several weeks before you're seeing it, and we don't care either. And we don't even know if. It's going to be shown. Sometimes the cable TV networks actually look at the show and decide not to show it. But the fact of the matter is, we don't know when the show ends. Bob and I know the show is ending because we look up at the monitor and we see the credits rolling by. Usually we see our creditors rolling by. <laughs> yes. Banging but, at the door. So I You'll get the money. So I figure, Bob, if we knew the show was coming to the end, not mm -hmm. the end of the show forever, I mean the episode that we're, we're, we're recording right mm -hmm. now, what kind of songs we would play? For example, we, pl we might play... Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Do, 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 do. Or we could play... I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Enough Full of that. No, yes, right. Okay. And uh, also. We used to do that one in saloons. Yes. Very big on the Jersey Shore. Remember? It was indeed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Except they wouldn't yell bullfeathers. Yes. And then I was thinking, Bob, we could do a song like I'll See You in My Dreams. Isn't I'll See You in My Dreams from a movie? Yeah, I wake up screaming. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll see you in my dreams. Hold you in my dream Someone took you out of my arms 
still I feel the thrill of your charm Lips that once were mine Tender eyes that shine They will lie my way tonight I'll see you in my dream Dave Stebbins, one of his favorite songs. Except he'll never see it, he doesn't have cable access. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, if you're watching our show, I'd you know that this is entirely unrehearsed. And you also know, as we say many times, it's entirely unnecessary. unnecessary. Wow. But right down where I'm pointing is the Banjo Bob and Crazy Henry website. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to read, but it says Banjo Bob and crazyhenry.com. It was supposed to, the original act was supposed to be Crazy Henry and Banjo Bob, but you went out and got the business cards printed <laughs> first. And that's right. Yes, and my name uh, was on my telephone number. But was your phone number was first. Yes, right? yes. Okay. All right. So he has to do the business. Now, we well, shouldn't. We have Siobhan on camera one. Mm -hmm. well, who's been Hi, there. Siobhan. Yes. And we know her mom, Sharon. Mm -hmm. And we have Missy on camera two. Now, Banjo Bob, yeah. and now and then you say snarky remarks. Snarky, to, what does that to, mean? To Missy. Mm -hmm. It means um, nasty, kidding, and sort of a... Nasty to Missy? You are I would never. Well, we're going to set the record straight. I'm going to ask you to dedicate a song to Missy. I want you to do an Elvis song, but yeah. I want you to channel Elvis. So in order to channel Elvis, you're going to probably put your collar up. Collar up? Do you have any sunglasses? You know, Elvis used to wear sunglasses. Oh, sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, I have to get him. All right, go get him. I have to get him. While, while Camera on Henry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. While ba Banjo Bob is going to the elaborate prop department of LMC TV in beautiful downtown Mamaroneck. Ah, he's back. Um, now, you still, okay. you still don't look quite like Elvis. We, we, we can solve this. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you... Now, what are you going to do? Because I, I don't have a hair like Elvis. Uh, you will in a, in a few minutes. I'm going to ask you to put this on. This is either an Elvis wig or a, a tarantula. Yeah, does this bite? I don't know. Uh, Where does it go? I have it on your head. No, I know, but which way? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it's only a 28-minute show, Bob. <laughs> Will you put the... the you think this is going to make me look like Elvis? <laughs> All right. Now, wait a minute. I want you to... I, I, it gets harder, Bob. I want you to dedicate... Banjo Bob, focus. Yes. Focus. Yes. Like Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Uh, focus power. Listen, I want you to dedicate our theme song to Missy. As a matter of fact, I understand... Didn't you once sing this to Missy in, in, in a little bistro? As a matter of fact, this is how Missy and I met. At a, a little place up here in Mamaroneck, it was, she was standing at the bar, and I went up to her and I said, Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Yeah. Does your memory stray? The bright summer day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart. 
Well, Missy, you lied when you said you loved the band. But we'd rather go on hearing your lies than go on living without you, baby. Is your heart filled with Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome to like you? And what did Missy say to you? Well, Missy, she turned around and said, Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Banjo Bob. Don't you come back no more. I gained a lot of respect for her when she rejected me like that. All right. The Elvis channeling is over. All right. You All can right. take off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Before it gets on fire. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the television studio. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's too bad Elvis never learned how to play banjo. He could have had a great career. Absolutely. Mm. Um, where where I live on Long Island, periodically they have, uh, you know, they tell you to put all your rubbish out by the curb. You mean your home address or at the rehab you're at now? <laughs> Bob, please, let's no. be serious. Oh, no. Anyway, uh, I noticed my wife and uh, my wife and I, you know, try and get piles of junk together, and uh, mm -hmm. and she actually did. And what I'm about to use, I rescued from the pile of junk. One of your instruments. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sort of. All right. We don't know about anybody else, but we're having a good time doing this. All right. It's, it's one of these bells. Oh, it's a restaurant bell. Yeah. Y your order is ready. Right. I have that in the kitchen. Now, yeah. we're going to incorporate this in a musical number from 1958 as uh -huh. done by Perry Como, the barber. Remember him? Oh, sure. Barber from Pennsylvania. Yes. He had a hit in 1958. Or Ohio. Oh, God. Yeah. Hot diggity, dog diggity, boom. What oh, you yeah. Okay. Want right, to do that? Yeah, and I want to Hot diggity, dog diggity, what you do to me? It's so new to me, what you do to me? Hot diggity, dog diggity, boom, what you do to me? When you're holding me tight, there's a cute little cottage for two that away. Got the blue that away, dreams come true that away. If you say I can share it with you that away, I'll be happy. What you do to me, it's so new to me. What you do to me, I dig it, dog ziggity. What you do to me, how my future will shine. I dig it, dog ziggity. What you do to me, from the moment you're mine. Hot dog. There you go. Yeah. Rescued from the junk pile. <laughs> I wish somebody would rescue us. <laughs> okay, now that was very inventive. Sometimes uh, people force their grandchildren to uh, watch this show. Let's leave me out of this. What, what is that? A punishment? No, no. It comes on usually when it comes on. Uh, I'm over at their house and I put it on, uh -huh. and my five-year-old grandson recognizes you as Banjo Bob. Really? Yeah, so we're going to do a song for them. My just, grandkids don't get it. They have another system. <laughs> they Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't get the show. A lot of people who watch the show don't get don't the show. Don't get the show. You're All right. right. Yeah. So we're going to do a song in case some young people. Okay. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. You're out! Out. Came the sun and dried up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again Kids. Right. And anyone else's grandchildren uh, who are looking at it. Now, mm -hmm. I was thinking, Bob, we don't know, and I said this before earlier, we don't know when this sh show 
might be shown. Yeah. There's a possibility. There's a possibility it might come on around Independence Day, July 4th. Could be. And I figured mm -hmm. that it would be nice if if we sang one of those uh, old George M. Cohan songs that he wrote, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. And I think people would love to hear us. Wait just a minute. What? What? I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy wasn't written by George M. Cohen. Just shows you how much you know. What do you, I, I always thought it was written by George no, M. Cohen. No, no, no. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy was written by James Cagney in the movies. Really? Yeah, don't you remember? I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle do or die. Real life nephew of my Uncle Sam. Born on the 4th of July, you dirty rat. Mm -hmm. I've got a Yankee Doodle sweetheart. She's my Yankee Doodle joy. Yeah. Yankee Doodle went to London just to ride the ponies. I am that Yankee Doodle boy. I stand corrected. Who knew? Who knew? Okay. We're going to do a um, Scott Joplin song. Do you like Joplin? I don't know. I've never Joplin. We'll wait for the laughter. Well, we almost woke up our camera people. I uh, Okay. This was a... Siobhan liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. She's hiding it, but she liked that. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, and if Siobhan's mom, Sharon, is watching, hi, your daughter's doing a terrific job. Okay. Yeah. We okay. should really be cameramen on, on Sharon's show. Sharon has a show? Doesn't Sharon have a show? Oh, she um, used to. Okay. Oh, soon they'll be saying that about us. We oh. used to. Oh. Oh, she, she did some uh, illegal things. And she no, no. Now. no, 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 no. Anyway, this yeah. is probably his most famous song, thanks to a 1973 movie uh, with Robert Redford, Redford and Paul Newman and and uh, Butch Cassidy. No, no. the the um, mm. the Sting. The Sting. Kept doing this. Now, that wasn't the name of it, though. It's The, no, the, the enter Entertainer? The Entertainer, yeah. yes. Yeah, that's a good one, and you do it pretty well. You've been practicing? Or? Well, I don't work, so I have to practice. Work? <laughs> don't use words like that. Yes. I'm like Maynard G. Krebs. Work? Boy. Oh, let's do one from Peggy Lee. Okay. The Queen of Cool. Norma Ekstrom. That's right. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's a wonderful world. I'm just walking on air. Talk of heaven on earth I've got more than my share I haven't got a care I'm happy all day through It's a wonderful world Love and wonderful you Let's hear that old trombone Just walk 
thinking on air Think of heaven on earth I've got more than my share Well, I haven't got a care I'm happy all day through It's a wonderful world Love and wonderful you Yes, love and wonderful you One more Love and Wonderful you In the 1980s, Bob and I were playing in Lower Manhattan on Maiden Lane. Oh, yeah, the financial district. Yes, it was actually the insurance part of uh, yeah. the financial district. We were playing every Friday night yeah. at, a, at a place, a restaurant. I don't know if it's still there. Jim Brady's, Jim Brady's restaurant. And we alternated with an Ir Irish band who were from Ireland. And yeah. they, they he was a well-known Irish guy, Jesse Owens. Je uh, Michael Jesse Owens. Yeah. He was a, a not not the runner. This is the guy with yeah. the same name. He, yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they liked us because they liked our material, and we liked their <laughs> Irish material. Yeah. And it's interesting about Irish songs. Not only are they very nice songs, they tell a story. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know the key. It's either going to be in this key or this key, but okay. you'll hear it. I've been a wild rover for many a year And I spent all me money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning with golden great store And I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no name never No name ever no more Will I play the wild rover I went in an alehouse I used to frequent And I told the landlady my money was spent I asked her for credit She answered me nay Such a custom as yours That I get every day And it's no nay never No nay never no more Will I play the wild rover Go home to my parents, confess what I've done, and ask them to pardon their prodigal son. And if they caress me as oft times before, then I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's no name never. Wild Rover. Yes, when they say no, nay, ever, everyone. That's right, yeah. Uh, and it's a fine Irish song, and we've got the worst Irish accents I've ever heard. <laughs> Aye. But what can you be expecting from two Norwegians from Brooklyn? Aye. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do one. This was done, uh, I'm not sure where it comes from, but I, I learned it from the record of that, that Italian singer that used to wear a bow tie, sing with Tommy Dosi. Oh, from Hoboken. Frank something. Uh, Sumatra. He Sinatra. had this one hit, and then you never heard from him again. She walks like an angel walks. She talks like an angel talks. And her smile's like a kind of pearl To my mind, she's my kind of girl She's wise, like an angel's wise With eyes, like an angel's eyes And her hair, got a kind of my mind, she's my kind of girl. Pretty little face, that face just knocks me off of my feet. Pretty little feet, she's really sweet enough to eat. She looks like an angel looks. She cooks like an angel cooks. in a kind of world to my mind she's my kind of girl
She's got a pretty little face That face just knocks me off of my feet Pretty little feet She's really sweet enough to eat She looks like an angel looks She cooks like an angel cooks And my mind's in a kind of kind of world cause she told me she's my kind of girl and I'm glad she's my kind of girl my kind of girl yeah. we're gonna try something we're gonna challenge the audience you know, people today are always glued to their cell phones and we have so many computer operated devices. Mm -hmm. But when there was a time when technology was really much, much simpler. If you remember the subject that Bob is about to sing, a song about a man who maintained village appliances that uh, were, were in the center of every village. Oh. If I don't think we're going to challenge the audience just to remember this. No one is going to remember this song. Wow. I know what song you mean. Um, he made the night a little brighter Wherever he would go The old lamp lighter Of long, long ago His snowy hair was so much whiter Yeah, because most village uh, lights weren't electric. They were gas, and they had to be... Uh, Before Thomas Edison. Yes, that, that's yeah, true. That movie was just on. Oh, really? Yeah, yes, that, with, with Mickey Rooney. Um, well, it was the um, the later one with... Um, oh. They played both movies. Oh, yeah. The back first, to back, yeah. The first one was Mickey, Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney was as a boy. Yes. And then um, um, Thomas Edison, the man, was Spencer Tracy. Oh, I didn't know that. Not bad actors. Mm-hmm. And what would you call us as musicians? Uh, I don't know, half-baked? <laughs> Still trying? Still trying. Okay, once again, let me remind you that if you like what you see, or even if you don't like, you can feel free to contact us, and we will get your email, and we will respond, or our lawyers will yeah, respond. Yeah, we'll say, same to you, fella. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, let's do a mm. peppy song. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, that's not. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We don't know about anybody else. We had a good time. We hope you did, too. Show 200. Number 200. Tune in same time.